Hey guys, Kidpool67 again here. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Funko Pop Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Baby Groot. Or Groot, it just says Groot on the packaging, but I, everyone knows it's Baby Groot. And yeah, I just wanted to say sorry guys, I didn't get to upload any videos last Monday because I'm just super busy and I didn't get a chance to. I had family visiting and everything, so. But I'm going to make up for it this week by them uploading two or three videos on one day today, so. Probably going to be reviewing this Pop, and then I'm probably going to be reviewing the Kingdom Hearts Goofy. And maybe Snowball from Secret Life of Pets. Not sure yet. But anyway, let's get right into this review. So this is a very light pop, by the way. Like, this literally just feels like an empty box because of how tiny it is. But this says Groot right there. Shows a nice picture of Baby Groot right there. You can see him in the window packaging. And you can see it says Funko Pop right there. Or it just says Pop. And then Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, number 102. You see a nice colorful backdrop here and then more art of Groot right there and just says all that Groot and everything on the back of the pot box you can see it says pop guardians of the galaxy volume 2 Groot it shows Groot right there it shows the rest you can get in line which is Star Lord Gamora Drax Rocket Groot Nebula Mantis Ego and Taserface which out of these ones I don't really want many of them I might just get I'm definitely want the foot I want the rocket because I like all the Flames coming out of his jetpack. Just zoom in so you can see that a little bit better. Yeah, you can see all the flames coming out of his jetpack. I also kind of want Nebula, but that's pretty much it. And then it says Pop right there, and that just says Marvel, and that says Groot right here. It shows artwork of the top of his head. Same thing here, you can see the top of his head, and that says Marvel, Pop, Funko, and all that. And then the bottom, so this tiny read up, and I forgot to take the tag off, but. Yeah, you can see it costs eleven ninety nine at GameStop. At my GameStop, anyway. It might cost more at you guys' GameStops, but yeah. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and crack this guy open so I can take a closer look at him. Alright, guys, so here's Baby Groot out of the packaging, and he's a very small pop, because he's supposed to be to go and scale with the rest of them. He's still not quite small enough to fit and scale with the rocket. You, would, if, if I was you guys, like if you wanted to have a Baby Groot to go with your rocket, I'd probably get the pocket pop of baby right or the pocket pop of baby Groot because i've seen a couple other people i've seen a youtube channel called pop daddy that i'm subscribed to he did that and it looks really good together like the pocket pop and little rocket but yeah but i don't usually do size comparisons with pops but just to kind of show you guys how big this is compared to like a regular size pop here he is next to Freddy Fazbear, the regular size Freddy Fazbear pop, and as you can see, he's a pretty small pop. Like, he's very tiny, but he, he's not as small as, like, Snowball from Secret Life of Pets, because that pop is freaking really tiny, but, yeah, but that was just a little size comparison for you guys, but yeah. But this is a bobblehead, like, I think all of Marvel pops are pretty much bobbleheads, but yeah, so his head bobbles a little bit. It doesn't bobble that good, because, like I said, he's small, but bobbles a little bit. But yeah, he, the detail on this guy is very good. Not much shading or anything, but it's a pop, so there usually isn't much shading on him. Lots of good sculpting on his little tiny body, though. And on his head, as usual, it's not as sculpted out as the body, but it's still nice. It has adorable little eyes. I don't know if I'll get any more baby group pops. I probably will. Probably get the one where he has a little jumpsuit on. But yeah, he has his eyes are a little bit squinty from the bottom. <coughs> Sorry. Had to cough. And then he has a little smiley mouth, like he's all cheerful. I wish they would have made a pop of him holding the death button from the trailer. That would have been funny and awesome, but they didn't yet. I don't think they did anyway, unless it was like an exclusive. But yeah, you can see he has nice detail of the wood grain going up the back of his head and the sides and stuff and everything and on the top front. And on the top of his head, you can see it's all swirly like a tree stump, and then it has moss and stuff growing on it. So yeah, it's a pretty... Nice looking sculpt. It should have had a little bit more shading, I think, and maybe been on, probably not a little bit, just a touch darker brown and a little bit of shading would have been good for this pop, but all in all, I think this pop is a very decent pop if you just want it to like, if you like Baby Groot or you want it to go with Rocket from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, which I do want to pick up that pop of Rocket Raccoon with the jetpack flames because that pop is really cool to me. And I probably will pick up a couple other pops. The one, the pops I'm really wanting right now are all the Kingdom Hearts pops, which 
to be honest, I've never actually played any of the games or anything, but I still probably end up going to probably going to order the entire wave of Kingdom Heart Pop sometime this month. I already have the GameStop exclusive Goofy, so probably going to order the rest of them except the Black and White Pete and the exclusive Donald Duck, which I'll probably pick that up someday. But yeah, but that's pretty much it for this review. Like I said, I highly recommend this pop if you're a fan of Guardians of the Galaxy or you just think it's adorable or something, because he is adorable. He's Baby Groot. But yeah. But thank you guys for watching, and as always, stay tuned for more videos by Kid67. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.